it's mango season right now so I thought I would talk about this recipe that I made featuring Philippine mangoes Actually, the main recipe is the mango calamari, but since the ingredients list contains mango chutney, I decided to use it as a chance to try making my own homemade mango chutney as well. So I started with taking out the flesh of the mangoes. You can do this any which way you like. I personally prefer slicing before scooping out the flesh, but you can do it the other way around. It's up to you. I chose the recipe from the Daring Gourmet blog and I really love the chutney that the recipe produced. It's also not very difficult although you would need quite a handful of spices in order to make this chutney as flavorful as it can be. Once the mangoes are prepared, it's time to saute all of the aromatics and the spices. There's garlic, ginger, sliced chili and the spices are a mix of ground coriander, cumin, turmeric, ground cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, and of course salt. We're adding in the mangoes now. Definitely use a bigger saucepan than I did because it's very hard to mix in a small saucepan like this. Sugar and white vinegar also going in. You want to bring this mixture to a rapid boil before reducing the heat to medium-low. Then we're just going to leave everything to simmer for 30 to 40 minutes, mixing just occasionally until the mixture begins to thicken and has reduced by quite a bit. The last step is cooling down the chutney before putting everything into a jar. At this point, it's normal for the chutney to look a little runny, but once it cools completely inside the fridge, it's going to thicken quite a lot. I actually made the mango calamari the next day. I allowed the chutney to set and thicken in the fridge overnight. So now we can use it for the mango calamari marinade. The marinade is a mixture of mango chutney, soy sauce, rice vinegar, and lime or lemon juice. That's it. Here's a little trick my mom taught me to help prevent squid from getting tough after they are cooked. Massage a bit of baking soda into your squid, then leave it for 10 minutes. Rinse the squid clean afterwards, making sure no baking soda is left, then drain the squid really well. Now it's time to marinate the squid. Marinate for at least 30 minutes inside the fridge. When ready to cook, heat oil over high heat. We're going to stir fry the squid in batches to promote even cooking. You want to make sure to reserve the marinade because it's going to be used later on in the recipe. Once the squid is just cooked through, you want to remove the squid from the heat. And using the same pan, we're going to stir fry the garlic, the chili, and the snow peas. The reserved marinade for the squid goes back in. I'm going to add 2 tablespoons more mango chutney just for some extra flavor. And we're going to bring everything to a boil. Once boiling, lower the heat and simmer for about 2 minutes until the sauce is slightly thickened. Now the squid goes back in and we're going to stir it all together. Now this is the point where you want to taste the sauce and add a bit more chutney if you wish. The last step is to mix in some mango slices. You want to be gentle with the mixing at this point so that the mango slices stay whole. And once everything is heated through, it's time to serve. 
This mango calamari is honestly one of my favorite things. It's sweet but also a little bit salty. It's also got this warmth to it because of the spices we used when we made the mango chutney. I think this is an absolute must try, especially now that it's mango season. This is the kind of dish that you eat with lots of steamed rice. In Filipino, we say, Mapaparami ka talaga ng kanin pag ganito ang ulam mo. 